Lisa was born with a condition called arthrogryposis. Doctors initially thought she would never walk, but by the age of three, she was walking. At school, her mom had to petition for her to get into the classroom, as there were no accommodations for children with special needs. She now stands here in spite of all that has blocked her way, with the motto, proving people wrong since the day I was born. People with disabilities have had to battle against centuries of biased assumptions, harmful stereotypes, and irrational fears. The stigmatization of disability resulted in the social and economic marginalization of generations of Americans with disabilities left many of them in a severe state of impoverishment. The oppression and discrimination against people with disabilities can be traced to biblical times and probably even earlier. Early forms of government discrimination against those with disabilities came in the form of immigration restrictions, idiot laws, forced sterilization. The eugenics movement in the United States during the early 19th century led to laws that forced sterilization on people with disabilities. California's sterilization law became the model for Nazi Germany's eugenics laws of 1933. The text is the 1927 U.S. Supreme Court case, Buck v. Bell, which set a legal precedent that allowed states to sterilize inmates in public institutions. The court argued that imbecility, epilepsy, and feeble-mindedness are hereditary, and that inmates should be prevented from passing these defects to the next generation. After decades of lobbying and fighting, the disability rights movement succeeded in passing into law the Rehabilitation Act in 1973 and the Americans with Disabilities Act in 1990. These laws prohibited discrimination against those with disabilities. For the first time, the exclusion and segregation of people with disabilities was viewed as discrimination, and people with disabilities were viewed as a class, a minority group. 